Lesson 7-2, Exploring Fraction Multiplication Situations. The main focus of this lesson is for you to solve a fraction number story. For you to be able to multiply unit fractions by whole numbers. For you to multiply non-unit fractions by whole numbers. And finally, to solve number stories involving multiplication of a fraction by a whole number. A lot to do with multiplying yet again. Look at the fractions that are on the screen. Let's decompose them in two different ways. Four fifths. Well, one way that we could decompose them would be to do one fifth plus one fifth plus one fifth plus one fifth. Another way would be do two fifths plus two fifths. Again, so, one-fifth plus one-fifth plus one-fifth plus one-fifth. Now I have my four-fifths. I know I'm repeating myself, but initially I did not have my pen, so I wanted to make sure I went over that. Denominator is the same, so I just put it down, and I add the numerators together to come up with four. Another way to do it would be to go two-fifths plus two-fifths. That also will get you the answer of four-fifths. So decomposing five-sixths. One way would be one-sixth plus one-sixth again, or we could go one-sixth plus two-sixths plus two-sixths to get us to our 5 6. Or I could do it as simple as 4 6 plus 1 6. All I'm doing is using different numbers to come up with the same results. And again, 6 a's. Maybe this time I want to do 3 a's plus 3 a's, which will give me 6 a's. Or I will do 1 eighth plus 5 eighths. Remember, decomposing numbers is just breaking them down to show how you can get the end result. So let's look at this problem. It says, the Social Studies Club wants to make paper mache globes. To make the paste, each club member will mix 3 fourths cup white glue with 1 fourth cup water. The club has nine members. They have one quart of water. Is there enough water for everyone? What's the first thing we're going to do? Well, we need to know about the water. That's what it asks. Is there enough water? So I'm going to look at the number that involves water. So if it's a fourth of a cup, and nine students need it. This is how I'm going to go about figuring out multiplying this fraction by nine. I will leave the denominator the same, four, and I will multiply that whole number with the numerator and come up with one times nine is nine. I will need nine force. Okay, but I want to think about this. Do I really want to measure a fourth of a cup nine times? Probably not. Since my numerator is larger than my denominator, I'm going to want to think of this in the measurement of cups. Well, I know that one-fourth plus one-fourth plus one-fourth plus one-fourth is going to equal one whole cup. So right there, I need four-fourths, which is one cup. Do I have any fourths left? Well, yeah, I only used four. I have nine. So I know that I can put one-fourth plus one-fourth plus one-fourth plus one-fourth. And now I have another cup, another four-fourths. 
and I'm going to abbreviate cup with a C. So, so far I have two cups. I've used eight out of the nine fourths, but I have one fourth left. So, is there enough for everyone if I have one quart? Well, in the previous lesson, I learned that one quart is two pints, which is four cups. So if I have four cups, do I have enough if I only need two and a fourth? Yes, I do. Another th way to figure this problem out, another strategy, would be to get out your fraction circles. And you could use them looking at, let me see here. I could look at my fraction circles. So this would be one-fourth, two-fourths, three-fourths, four-fourths, five-fourths, six-fourths, seven-fourths, eight-fourths. And again, we know just by what I said, eight-fourths equals two holes, and then I have a fourth left over. So I have a total of four cups. Four minus two-fourths means I actually have three-fourths of the one I didn't use plus a whole nother one. So I'll have a cup and three-fourths too much. So yes, I will have enough again. Let's explore another multiplication situation with non-unit fractions. It says, the social studies club wants to make paper mache globes. To make the paste, each club member will mix three-fourths cup of glue with one-fourth cup of water. The club has nine members. The social studies club has a half gallon of white glue. Will there be enough glue for everyone? So again, we need to look at what they're asking. We're looking at if there will be enough glue. So I'm looking back up. It says they will need three-fourths a cup of white glue, again, with nine members. Well, let's check it out. We have to check first three-fourths cups of glue times the nine members equals, well, 3 times 9 is 27, so I need 27 fourths. So I need 27, sorry, 3 fourths cups of white glue. So how can I figure this answer out? Well, I could use as one strategy, repeated addition, and do three-fourths nine times, which would come up with 27-fourths, and I would ha write that down. So whenever you're testing or working on some practice worksheets, I want you to make sure that if you think three-fourths could be written down nine times, I want to see you actually write down three-fourths nine times. As you can tell, it's going to take you a little time to do it, but you will do it a lot quicker than I will because this is a lot more, it's just more difficult to do it my way using the cursor. I have three, I have six, I need three more. So multiplication would, would be one strategy, repeated addition would be another. And again, If we look at this, we have 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 21, 24, 27. The same answer. So how can I represent the addition equation with a multiplication equation? Again, I did it for you right here. How can I do this by drawing and looking at relationships? Well. I could, and I'm sorry I accidentally clicked on that, I could draw circles 
and say, well, 3 fourths plus 3 fourths is 1 and a half. And then I'd have to do it again. I'd have to do 3 fourths plus 3 fourths is 1 and a half. And again, 3 fourths plus 3 fourths is 1 and a half. And my final one, 3 fourths plus 3 fourths is 1 and a half. So far, I've used 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, so I have one three-fourths left. So now I can add them together. One, two, three, four. I have four whole numbers. But if I add these two together, a half and a half makes another whole. So I increase this by one. A half and a half makes another whole. So again, I would increase it by one. And I have three fourths left over. So is 27 fourths is equivalent to six and three fourths. Another way that you'll soon learn how to do using is by using multiplication to get it to a fraction again. If you take four times six, you get 24. And if you add three, you go come up with the numerator 27 that you see here. But notice our numerator never changes. It remains the same. Now I'd like you to turn to Math Journal page 232. You will need to complete this page and it is an assessment check-in. So you will be bringing it up to me when you get it completed. It says, Suma and her sister Pooja are baking 12 blueberry wheat muffins for breakfast. The recipe lists the following ingredients and it tells you one cup white flour, half a cup whole wheat flour, two teaspoons baking powder, three-fourths cup blueberries and a fourth a teaspoon salt, one egg, a half a cup skim milk, two-thirds cup honey, a fourth cup cooking oil, three-eighths teaspoon cinnamon. There are your ingredients. The first question says the sisters want to triple, that means three times the recipe. How many teaspoons of baking powder do they need now? So you're looking only at the baking powder and you're tripling it. Show your work underneath A and write your answer here. For B it says how many teaspoons of salt do they need now? We're looking specifically at salt. Again, we're still tripling the recipe. Show your work here and the amount of teaspoons there. How many cups of whole wheat flour? Well, by now you know you're looking at whole wheat flour. Triple the recipe, answer goes here. And between what two whole numbers does your answer to problem 1C lie? Does it, answer, does it lie between 1 and 2, 2 and 3, 3 and 4, 4 and 5? Stop the recording now, finish Math Journal page 232, and bring it up to me when you're finished. Next, you're going to do Math Journal page 233. This one says, Sumer and her sister Pooja are baking 12 blueberry wheat muffins for breakfast. The recipe lists the following ingredients. What is twice as much skim milk as? So you're going to look at skim milk and look at what half of it is. Because twice as much means that you multiply the number by 2 to get the skim milk's answer. How many cups more white flour than whole wheat flour is there? And how many times as much baking powder as salt? How much, how many cups less cooking oil than skim milk? How about teaspoons more of baking powder than cinnamon? Find these answers, fill them in, and then check them. Next you will do Math Journal page 231. Pause the recording and do it now. For those of you who need it read to you, you're going to need to bring it back to me so I can do it because I'm running out of time. Your final Assignment for this lesson is Math Masters, page 263. Complete that, bring it up to me, and I will check it, and you are done with this lesson.